say hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to our day. Welcome to our day. Yay. So we're just getting ready for bed and today, despite the chest clinic saying it's going to be a week, my new mask arrived. So I'm going to show you what it looks like on. Here it is. Honk, honk. <laughs> and the, the tube goes up here. So I've got nothing dangling in front of my face. All the air goes into this and it's just a lot softer. These bits are magnetic like the other bits, but the strap itself here is a different material. And the best bit is it doesn't sit where I was getting that saw bit. So trial number one with the mask i'll let you know what it's like in the morning it's really really cold today and i just got up to make a cup of coffee and i flicked the blanket over and uh <laughs> i came back in and she's just stayed like it and it, i don't know if you can see but that there is her nose <laughs> Yeah, that's the bit I thought was her name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. And then there's this little bum. Bum? One. I've got an issue. Help. <laughs> Are you okay, baby girl? No. <laughs> You're right. Do you need some help? Are you okay, Pickle? I need help. <laughs> Why is this so pointy? <laughs> Yeah, then there's this one who is also gorgeous. I'm gonna get the people. No, ma'am. I'm gonna get the people. Easy, cozy. <laughs> but yes, they are both adorable. I mean, look at that bum. Easy, cozy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your tail's making it chilly in here, though. Yeah. Don't care. <laughs> Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I realise, but I don't care. No. Cozy. Cozy. <laughs> it's flicking me in the hobble. Yeah. Yeah. Cozy. Oh, I'm very tired, Mummy. Cozy. <laughs> Cozy. Cozy. Do you want to go back to sleep? Yeah, mum. Yeah? Right on here. Yeah. <laughs> mm, they're both so beautiful. <laughs> These flowers, people, were another bunch of discount flowers. They were reduced. But there's literally, absolutely, nothing wrong with them apart from they look gorgeous yesterday as well I made three cards because it's oh three friends birthdays coming up so there is this one all of which I absolutely love I'll just point out oh my breath then there's this one And this one, which I absolutely love, 
I've not done it in a little while. It's called pointillism. Here it is. So literally all it is, is tons and tons and tons of dots. So yeah, I'm quite proud of that one. Go play! <laughs> Come on! Go play! With 60. Do you play with Go on! Go do what you were doing! That's not what you were doing! No, but now I'm in the camera! Good evening, guys. It is currently quarter past five. We still need to change the clock really screwing us over and today's not been the best I woke up in agony with my back crying literally just I didn't know what to do I was in such a position that no matter how I sat how I let down anything it was just agonizing so I had to take Orm off before I even had any other meds because I literally couldn't cope. The pain was making me feel very sick and obviously I was just raising my heart rate which isn't helping with the palpitations and yeah it was just absolutely horrific. So I then took my meds about an hour later, I fell back asleep and sleep just has been awful and I think it's just because of the pain in my back, I couldn't get comfortable, I was just getting night terrors from previous times I've had problems with my back and it was just literally sending my mind all over the place. And it was just awful. I tried to sleep for about three and a half, four hours. And in the end, I just gave up. It just wasn't working. And it was, it was stressing me out more trying to sleep than trying to find a position comfortable for my spine. And then obviously when I woke up, because I'm in so much pain, because it's making me feel very low and everything in between, it's made me just not want to eat good stuff. So, so Soph is just leaving to um, go get me some cereal. Literally, I just, I think that's what I can stomach right now. Um, it's just want it to go away I want the pain to be gone I mean holiday was either a month ago and there is literally no improvement and that's on a higher maintenance pain relief everything and it just it really sucks because it's just it's debilitating me even more I mean all I've managed to do then today is decorate two envelopes for birthday cards and I know I can do better than this I know I can achieve more and do more in the time that I've been doing it but because of my back 
it's it's just slowing me down and it's it's making me take forever to just do the simplest of tasks <sighs> it's so infuriating but so it's also taken the letter with my bank statements and all the receipts to the post box so that they can check everything over at the mental health team and decide whether or not they want to continue my budget I'm praying they do because this budget is what's keeping me distracted every day it's given me the opportunity to buy craft materials I would not be able to afford otherwise so I'm praying that they do allow me to continue have it and we'll just have to wait and see I suppose so also well we both received so it's Nanny's next red arrows um, coin I'll show you that two seconds I'll put pictures at the end as well though because it might not be that clear um, thankfully just looking at this one now it doesn't look like there's all that like much scratches going on which is obviously what we want no scratches so like the others it's got one of the red arrows itself because this one on the back in the folder that we had it um, creates the I think it was nine diamond formation I think that's what it is don't quote me though and then on the back of this one is another painted picture of the red arrows ooh, doing a flyby so yeah at least that's arrived at least that one's not scratched so the now that's also fast to do is re, re uh, arrange to meet up with her nanny again um, which is just great because it means that Sophie's seeing her nanny and she's given her something that she loves there's a connection for the like all of them with her granddad and it's just really lovely <sighs> so that's kind of it and I'm sure we'll check in with you when Sophie gets back so it's a few hours later they didn't have the golden nuggets that I wanted for my cereal. So I had cookie crisp. But I also forgot to say earlier, I had an appointment phone call this morning. Um, and it was for an ophthalmology, an eye hospital basically. Um, so for those that haven't been around um, for that long, about six months ago probably a little bit more March because it was when we got our new glasses we noticed that I've got these brown spots appearing in my eyes and basically I got referred to the eye hospital because I'm getting more and more of them whereas before they just they weren't even there and there was a little bit of concern and from what the ophthalmologist the eye doctor can tell it's freckles that are appearing in my eyes um, I've got like freckles on my arms um, my shoulders my face in the summer and whatnot but I've never had them in my eyes before so we were a little bit concerned and at the moment the freckles are just on the colored bit of my eyes but there's a risk that the freckles they can go deep into the eyes if that happens, it can cause eye problems, which is a little bit scary, I have to admit. So, I'm, I, I believe it's just a follow-up to see if any more have appeared or if the ones that are, are there, if they've grown anymore. Because if that's the case, then we're gonna, I'm going to need some form of treatment or more monitoring or something like that I'm not all too sure to be honest um, it was a long time ago now I'm, pr I'm pr pretty sure we said in the vlog when it happened um, 
so yeah that appointment is on the 4th of November I said to Soph that over the next six weeks we've got seven hospital appointments it's like we suddenly have none and then everything just comes at us all at once so exhausting oh, and in that time we're off to Bristol to go and watch The Lion King in theatre <sighs> it's a little bit busy but I am looking forward to The Lion King there's one good thing um, and today I have ordered well yesterday Sophie and I took a picture of us two, Gizmo and the girls all sat together on the sofa and I went on to um, the free prints thing that I use um, I think I got a referral code so I'll put it in the, the description and we've printed off 60 photos of that little set up of us as a family and then when they arrive we can put them in the pencil cases for Sri Lanka and then we can wrap them all up we do however still need to find a box because when I was looking online for the size box that we need they wanted like £15 for 10 boxes and I said so I'm not really happy about that because we don't need like 10, 15 boxes and I don't really want to be spending £15 on some cardboard so we're going to have a look upstairs to see if we can find anything and if not we're going to go to the back of like Pets at Home and Poundland and things like that and Tesco's and whatnot to see if they've got any large boxes there that have just been thrown out and we'll just get one for free <laughs> so I'm going to go and wax seal these envelopes and I'm sure we'll check in with you later good evening it's now quarter past seven and I'm going to sleep oh baby girl I'll call over in a minute you I was putting sellotape on envelopes and I couldn't even focus I'm so tired <laughs> it is pain relief induced though I might add with everything else on top mm. but I forgot to say earlier that new face mask that I've got not only is it extremely comfortable but it is so quiet it is really quiet compared it's like you wouldn't even know it was on and it's nice because like with the other ones cold air comes blasted out of like the front of Charlie's yeah. face so I can't ever cuddle into anybody no, no. but with this one it doesn't do it so it's great. And well, last night, like normally, give Sophie a kiss goodnight, give the girls a kiss goodnight, then I put my mask on and then we go to sleep. But last night, I could give Sophie and the girls a kiss goodnight, put my mask on, and I snuggled right up to the girls it's and was lovely. able to continue giving them kisses. It was really nice. It was really lush. Yeah. So it makes me happy. Yeah. Yes! Yay! But... Before I fall asleep on the camera, thanks for coming on this day of us, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everyone! Good night! Bye.